the confetti shot into the air at Chase Field has been swept up. The hundreds of champagne bottles sprayed throughout the visiting clubhouse has finally dried. The powerful cigar aroma has cleared the air. The World Series is over, and just up the street from Chase Field where the Texas Rangers celebrated deep into the night, is the where teams will gather to start building a contender for the next fall classic. Scottsdale, Arizona, is where the annual Major League Baseball general manager meetings are taking place beginning Tuesday at the Omni Hotel, where all 30 GMs, front office executives and agents will be gathering for the next three days. The most sought-after person at the meetings will be Nez Balelo, the agent for Shohei Otani, who will be seeking the largest contract in baseball history, with more than a dozen teams expected to show interest, willing to fork out in excess of $400 million, maybe $500 million. Scott Boras, who represents six of the top ten free agents, including soon-to-be two-time Cy Young winner Blake Snell and former MVP Cody Bellinger, will be in high demand. The most popular executive may be John Mosiliak of the St. Louis Cardinals, who has shouted to the world that he never wants to ever endure another season like they just experienced, vowing to add at least three frontline starters, whether it's through free agency or the trade market Rangers GM Chris Young will receive the most accolades after winning the first World Series title in franchise history, Michael Elias of the Baltimore Orioles should win the Executive of the Year award with their AL East title, and Mike Hazen of the Arizona Diamondbacks will be saluted for their dramatic turnaround from 110 losses two years ago to the NL pennant. While trades and free agent signings are extremely rare at these meetings, this is where the groundwork traditionally starts, only this year feels different, GMs and executives say. This is the first time, they can remember, where 29 of the 30 teams are actually trying to win. The Oakland A's still are rebuilding and planning to keep payroll as low as possible, but every other team is trying to compete in 2024. Everyone just saw an 84-win team reach the World Series, a $60 million team win the AL East, and the three highest spending teams sitting home for the playoffs, and figure, hey, why not us? I've never seen anything like it, one GM said. It's the first time we've had 29 teams all talking about winning. Every team you talk to wants to be aggressive. This means the free agent market will be hot and heavy, with even teams like the Tampa Bay Rays telling agents they plan to spend this winter. Still, it's a painfully thin free agent class, executives caution, and the risk factor could be greater than ever. It's simply not a market where you can drop $500 million on two players and win a World Series in two years like the Rangers did with all-star infielders Corey Seager and Marcus Semien. The Rangers' title was no fluke. You need stars to win. The Houston Astros have proven just that for the past seven years. And this year, there's no bigger star on the market than Otani, who comes along with his own risk. Here are the headlines that will command the attention this week while roaming the grounds at the Omni Scottsdale Resort and Spa.